Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube. We have some fun stuff to talk about today. Um, we had some fun over the weekend. It was Michael's family's big I Love You Day party, a Valentine's party for the family. My favorite holiday of the whole year. It's probably the, the main event in the Bates family and we had a lot of fun, a lot of work, um, a lot of a lot of preparation going into this day. It's, it's a pretty big deal. And so we're gonna talk about it today and kind of the process leading up to it and in the day itself. My mom pours her heart into I Love You Day, yeah. and I feel like my siblings do too. It is our big event where every single sibling that can tries to come in town, and there's those unavoidable things, pregnancies, births, sicknesses. So it's not everybody every year, but it's probably the largest mm -hmm. gathering yeah. of the year other than a wedding. So my mom starts planning months in advance, and the theme is announced and picked, and everybody gets to pick their very own costume that matches the theme, so. And this year, it was a really fun theme, uh, Little House in the Prairie. But having said that, we already knew a lot was gonna go into pr preparing for this day, and Michael started getting phone calls. Hey, could you make, you know, could you sew this dress for my girls? And Michael was like, oh, I'd love to, yes. But one phone call right after the other, she kept saying yes. <laughs> and it got to the point where she's like, um, I think I might have <laughs> overcommitted. And it's like, yeah, I think you might have. Because <laughs> she's still planning on making her own costume too. And so anyway, um, she she went at it and there was a lot of late nights leading up to this I Love You Day. But she got them all done. This was one of the most special years for me because I love to sew, but the creative element I don't get to do very often because I just typically make the baby blankets and don't really have an outlet for the creative side. So as my sister started calling, they were sending me pictures of what they wanted and of what the girls picked. And it was, it was like a dream come true because I'm getting to see how close I can get to what they're wanting and going to the store and FaceTiming them to get like, do you like this fabric? Will the girls like this fabric? And it kind of took me back to my childhood because every year my Aunt Kay would make me and my sisters Easter dresses. And there were gingham and there was eyelid and there was ruffles and we could twirl in them. And I don't know, it just took me back to all of those feelings as a little girl. And then go into each of the houses and let the girls try on their dresses and... You give them an opportunity to it twirl. It was just so <laughs> cute. Okay, 
bring it to me and I'll fix it. <laughs> Up to the party. They knew I was making their costumes and they would just ask, are you making my prince's dress? I was like, well, it's going to be a, a prairie princess, but, but yes. So I, I, I was sure they were going to be disappointed because when I hear princess dress, I'm thinking they're going to think it's frilly and lace and shiny and what have you. It's like, that's not little house in the prairie <laughs> whatsoever, but they didn't seem disappointed they at all. They were so excited and they like, they loved their bonnets. I think Willow wore hers most of the day and um, just the little bloomers. It was just so much fun getting to see their excitement. How many costumes was this? Okay, oh, there was- Oh, to count up. There was four girls for Aaron, yes. right? There was Josie's girls. Yep. Carlin and Layla. Oh, you did Carlin too? Yeah, yes. and me. And you. So nine costumes. Charlotte and Cambry, Willow and Hazel. Charlotte and Cambry, Carlin I didn't even Layla. count them. 11. It was, it was a blast. Getting to make each of the costumes look a little bit different and to get to, to use, to use a skill that I love. One thing I want to say for Ma Bates is that she is very, very good and kind in including over Christmas time, she was doing a train for all the grandkids. She was having like this. It was so adorable. It was this engine. Granny B's train. <laughs> yes, Granny B's train made out of cardboard. So there was an engine and then there was a car filled with presents for each family, mm. all the grandchildren in that family. And there was, you know, all the, these boxes. And so she asked me if I'd make the engine for this thing. And I was like, well, I've never done that before, but if you have cardboard, you know, we can figure something out. So while I was making it, she's like, you know, I was, I was thinking about the party coming up for Valentine's day. We're always counting down to Valentine's day. Yes. And anyway, she's like, I'm thinking for things for Valentine's day and the theme is little house in the prairie. So I was wondering, uh, could you make a wagon? And I'm thinking, a wagon? Wagons are really big. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I can. She's like, oh, it doesn't have to be life size, but it'd just be nice to have a wagon. So it's like, okay, I could, I could try to figure something out. So that was kind of my mission leading mm -hmm. up to Valentine's Day. She was doing dresses. I was trying to make a wagon, figure out different stuff for that. Judson and Jeb did help out with that process, which was fun spending time with the guys, but. One, two. Oh, one, two, oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, three. Um, oh, you're gonna do it not straight? Okay, I'm ready. Um, ready. Can you do a symmetrical? No, that looks unnatural. Brandon! <laughs> you just line those up? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> okay, Justin, for you, we can do that. Where is it? Um, oh, do you want to find a tape, Jack? Hi, guys. <laughs> this, someone has to hold the line Me. right in the middle. Don't mess up. I cut the circle out here. What do I do with the hat? I'm a genius. I think your hat part is missing. You just drew a perfect circle, Brandon. You're telling me we did all that work for nothing? This, this whole piece is nothing. Mr. Edwards. Hmm. Brandon. <laughs> we have got this started and we'll see what it turns into before the party. Mom starts planning for Valentine's Day or I Love You Day in usually right after Thanksgiving. So she picks the theme and she sends it out to everybody. And then for the next 
few months she spends every day going through checklist and making list of all the things that need to be done all of the decorations all of the meal planning and then all of the costumes they still have five kids at home so she helps all of them get their costumes ready then she plans the games which is a lot of work all right Jen, tell me what this is Trying to get all these to the bottom, but you slip right around. So is it like a time glass with gumballs? Yeah, but you have to shake it because they don't just fall down by themselves. Oh, they do get stuck. <laughs> and she does so much research to make sure that there's games for grandchildren and for the singles and for the couples. It, it really is just weeks and weeks of her thinking you know, is there something for this child to enjoy and something for that child to enjoy? And is there something for the little kids who are old enough to walk around? So this year she had a ball pit for all of the toddlers and new walkers. So they would have something fun to do. Yeah. So, so it's a lot. It is. She thinks about it from every angle. Um, and it's just, it's amazing to me just to think about a, a party, you know, just, <laughs> to, just to plan a party, but to plan a party for that many people, plus all of their children, and to make sure every individual has something there that they will enjoy. I mean, she pours her heart into it. And she people really have does. a good time. I mean, it is I, I so felt like much everybody fun. really, really enjoyed themselves. Who's in there? <laughs> one, one really funny funny moment with the wagon. It wasn't necessarily about the wagon, but the, the kids were hiding in it. You know, I got down, it's like, hey, what are you guys doing in there? And Willow looks at me, she's got her cousins all around her. She's like, hey, are you a brother? <laughs> and I'm thinking in a reference to her, and I was like, no, I'm an uncle. And she's like, no, to my dad. And I was like, to her dad? I was like, oh, well, I'm a brother-in-law to your dad, <laughs> yeah. And then Layla was right next to her, and she's like, are you my dad's brother? And I was like, Yes, he's also a brother-in-law, so yeah. And then Charlotte was on the other side. Are you my dad's brother? I was like, yes, I'm your dad's brother. And Coulter was on the very end. And he goes, you're everybody's dad's brother. <laughs> like, Family. Right, right. So you're right, Coulter, yes. Here, I'm everybody's dad's brother. This was really neat. Papa Bill and Mama Jane, everyone thought they weren't coming this year, that they couldn't make it. And, Best surprise and ever. And <laughs> Nathan was, he called him up, Nathan, her brother, and is like, you know, if I fly you, would you be willing to come? And they're like, we can fly, great. And so he ended up flying a plane to them. Nathan surprised all of us and making it possible for Papa Bill and Mama Jane to come. It was really special. <laughs> There's one amazing picture. It was, it was just them with just the great grandkids. Right? All of the great grandkids that were awake. Several were sleeping, but it was all the ones that we could oh, okay. round up. <laughs> so this picture doesn't even have all the great grandkids in it, but they sat them down and put all the great grandkids around them. And I mean, it is it's a throng. Precious. It is like a massive, <laughs> but it is so sweet. They have always been invested in our lives. And so just getting to have them there again and to enjoy the fun, it was, it was incredible. So as far as the costumes go, it's a contest, you know, who did the best at looking like who. I'm it is a to, competition, I'm pretty steep. I'm trying to remember who came as who. Casey, Casey was, was Laura, Laura and Chloe yeah, was Laura. And Chloe was Laura. <laughs> Bradley was Mr. Edwards. Bradley was Mr. Edwards. Was Jaden? Oh, he was the cutest. He had a little suspenders, but I can't remember who they said he was. Chad and Aaron came as Charles and Carolyn Ingalls. Carson was Johnny Johnson. I think that's yep. the, the first love of Laura Ingalls, <laughs> if you watch the episodes. Brooke came as Mary. Evie was Laura. Holly was Carrie. Yep. And then Finley was the other Carrie. Finley was the other Carrie. <laughs> yes, because there was twins that played Carrie in the show. So Lawson was Doc Baker and his um, beau for one episode was Kate, Tiffany. Kate, was it Kate Thornton? Nathan and Esther. They came as a grown-up Laura and Almanzo. Alyssa was not able to make it this year. She so wasn't. So we missed her. And, and then was Tori. Tori's kids. Bobby named them all. So they had just a name from time period. <laughs> okay. And then Trace was also Charles, right? Trace and Laura came. Trace and Lydia came as Charles, Charles and Carolyn. And, Carolyn. and Riker was little Jack. <laughs> he was so <laughs> the cute. The dog. That was cute. 
and then Carlin. Her, and, her and, and Evan, Evan were Mr. and Mrs. Olsen. They <laughs> knock it out of the park every <laughs> single year. And little Nellie and Willie were Layla oh. and Zaid. It was super, yes. super cute. They did a good job. Yeah. And then... Um, I just have to shout out to Carlin because she made her whole hat and it looked identical to the picture. And then for Josie's girls, I think they were just little house in the period mm -hmm. girls. They were just little time period girls. Mom and dad came as Mr. and Miss Olsen. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah came as Mr. Edwards and he did a little jig. Callie and Judson did Nellie and Willie together. <laughs> and Callie, she really acted super well. They they did a good job with their presentation. She can pull off that look with her blue eyes and blonde hair. Yep. Was, she did good. She did good. And then Jeb was Mr. Edwards. Yep, and his long johns. <laughs> he stuffed him a little belly in there. He was, he was a doll. <laughs> One other thing I'm going to talk about, which Michael probably doesn't want me to, but I'm going to anyway. What is, are you going to say? <laughs> her mom has, in the past several years, she's done what's called the, the Biggest Heart Award. I'm, I'm trying to think. I think it started in 2020 when um, Lawson, he was over in the Philippines trying to help a little girl get some medical attention she wasn't going to be able to get otherwise. He was really a huge advocate for her. He spent weeks in the Philippines and he missed our Valentine's party, so he wasn't even there with us. Yeah. And yeah. Um, Which he loves to be there, by yes, the way, so it was is, a huge he sacrifice. He is the party king. <laughs> <laughs> it was a huge sacrifice for him. And uh, so anyway, um, Ma Bates had a, a, a Biggest Heart Award she awarded to him. He wasn't able to be there. She's like, you spent your money, you spent your time, you're advocating for this girl that needs medical attention. Mm -hmm. And so she had this award. And so since then, um, she's done it every year since. But this year, I was thinking, Michael's got it before. It's probably, it's going to go to somebody else. And so, but there was a vote for it. And, you know, of course, I know everything Michael does and what she's done the past year. So she had my vote already, but I thought it was going to be, you know, it was going to be someone else, but um, they ended up calling it out and it was- And I was shocked. I didn't even know what to say because it took me so off guard because, I mean, I look at all that my siblings do that all my siblings have done for us, for what my brothers have done just helping us in our house and... <laughs> I, I see how much Michael does for, for other people all the time. And um, I, I used to try to keep up with her, but I can't even use that term anymore. <laughs> She's so far ahead of me no. helping other people out. But um, that was, you definitely had my vote. You're very and, um, sweet to And that's, that's not to say there aren't other people in the family that um, were worthy of, of the vote because a lot of people have really gone out of their way. Michael's family, they're there for each other. A family has a need, they're, they're, they drop their what they're doing. I and love they go my and, family. They, go and help out. <laughs> they really do. And so there are there are a lot of there's a lot of valid candidates for the award, but um, you had my vote. Now I'm gonna run <clears throat> my makeup for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am truly amazed at how my mom does this over and over and over again. Yeah. Because she thinks of every single person. She like does. we're just there to help her and fill off a few checklists. And she stays up after we're gone and after everybody else is gone. Into the night. For Christmas, yeah. for Valentine's Day, for, for every event, she's just, she's all in. And then she will hop on a plane and she'll be at a birthday party or a birth or a graduation. She's just, she is, her and dad both. And it amazes me now that I'm a grown up to see what she puts in and just tirelessly. And she loves it. She enjoys it and she never complains. Yeah. Mom has the biggest heart of anybody I've ever known. According to your dad, she should have gotten the biggest yes, heart award, she but she have. said she wasn't, <laughs> wasn't part of the deal, so. I think one of the most treasured parts of the I Love You Day is just that we're all together as a family. As people get married and move away, the times you get to see each other and all be together and watch the cousins play together becomes less and less. I mean, there's the local ones, but then as far as just everybody coming together, it truly is such a highlight. And um, just seeing my mom smile, watching all the kids together, and it is just such a special event that we all look forward to. And I think I'm just really grateful that dad and mom prioritized family. It's truly a gift. And yeah. I mean, we're not perfect. We have squabbles and quirks, and sometimes we have to agree to disagree. But just having family is is such a blessing. And being together, I think more and more I treasure that. Anyway, the party was so much fun. We we really we really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It was a fun theme, a fun time with family. And um yeah, we're we're blessed folks. Mm -hmm.